What is up YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater, and I'm here in a home where we have a beautiful living room set up, and we want a little audio video in the space. So what we did was a couple of designer solutions, and I'm gonna discuss that with you guys. If you are not one of our subscribers, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up. All right, let's get into it. All right, so if you guys built a new home anytime in the last few years, this is a very, very common setup. Living room open to the kitchen. What are you gonna do with this space? Well, you have options. You know, we can do a full surround sound system or like this customer opted for multi-channel stereo. Um, TV over the fireplace is super popular. You can see in this situation, we went with a frame TV with the white frame around it, which looks absolutely beautiful. These things sit very, very flush to the wall, giving you that nice designer look, no wires showing. Customer wanted this nice clean look, so we couldn't really put a center speaker there without messing up the, the aesthetics of the space. Um, so what we did is the Klipsch Pro series, the 16 RWs for in walls, and we just assigned it as multi channel stereo. I'll play a little demo for you guys here in a moment, but this is a 4.1. So we have front, left, and right, as well as a reference 120 subwoofer here for some bass. So this is going to be really good for just improving the overall fullness in the space. That way, whenever the customer is watching TV at its you're gonna hear the audio coming from everywhere in the room, and because the reverb and the acoustics are bad, this is gonna at least fill the room better so that you can clearly hear the dialogue, as well as produce some mid-range and low-frequency bass whenever you're listening to music or watching your movies. You can see the space is open in the back of the room, and we put a couple in-wall speakers at the pre-wired locations. And those are the Pro 16 RWs as well. Huge room. And one of the things that you can do to help with the performance of the audio is like this customer's done, a nice big rug in the room to cut back on the reflections, as well as the drapes. These are designer things that you can do that make the space look really great without putting ugly acoustic treatments on the wall. And if you were to have heard this room prior to all of this furniture and rugs and drapery, you would hear it is a lot worse. So we highly recommend doing these type of things. It's gonna improve the quality of the audio as well as the overall look of the room. So I'm gonna play you guys a quick demo. I want you to drop some comments down below and let me know what you think. Kind of want to go over a couple settings with you guys. You can see all the equipment is terminating down here in this nice cabinet, which will keep everything hidden out of sight. This is the settings on the AVR. What you're going to do on a system like this is just assign it as front, small, uh, subwoofer, yes, surrounds, small, and then no center speaker. So what this will do is assign the base to the sub you'll have nice mid-range and then all of the dialogue well all of the effects will come through all of the speakers at one time i'm just going through the settings and making sure we're good okay so you have different options still even though it's just a four channel 4.1 channel system what i'm going to recommend is not stereo but multi-channel stereo. What that's gonna do is send the audio through all of the speakers at the same time, giving it really nice room filling audio. So we'll go ahead and play like just a little movie trailer so that you guys can hear what it would sound like. I have a break of promise to you. I will put you in. Message for you, sir. What did he say? He said Ford makes ugly little 
cars in an ugly factories. And uh, God, you fat, sir. We're gonna bury Ferrari at Le Mans. So the great Carol Shelby is gonna build a car to beat Ferrari. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm sure that you guys could hear the the dialogue was full. It wasn't as nice as if you were to have a center speaker because you didn't get that separation in channel, but it was full, still cinematic. You had some bass in there, so you could watch a movie in here and still have a really enjoyable experience, but it's clean. I mean, and you, most people wouldn't even notice these speakers in the wall if they came in and the TV looks really, really sharp up there. And what's great about the frame TV is it has art modes. Like you saw at the beginning of this video, basically it dims down the picture and makes it look like a piece of art over the fireplace versus a television. Whenever you do use the fireplace, like right now, it's a QLED panel. So QLEDs are super bright. It's, it's great for a living room. Uh, so you get a nice picture matched with a nice designer look. And I think this is a great, great option if you, uh, if you have a space like this. If you guys would like us to do something like this for you, make sure to give us a call and show your support. Uh, we'd be happy to put together a system for you with a low price guaranteed on everything that is itemized and uh, free shipping throughout the nation. We have a very extensive installer network that can help you get this put in professionally and show you how to use it when we're done. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.